Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss given a multilayer perceptron network, how to find the output at the output layer neuron using logistic ReLU and ReLU with matrix form of activation functions. Here, a multilayer perceptron network with three layers is given to us. The input layer contains two neurons, the hidden layer contains two neurons, and the output layer contains one neuron in this case. Given this uh, multilayer perceptron network, we need to calculate the output at the output layer neuron that is uh, 5 with input vector 0 0.7 and 0 0.3. The input at neuron 1 is 0 0.7 and the input at neuron 2 is 0 0.3 here. The activation functions we need to use are the logistic function ReLU and ReLU with matrix operations here. So first we will try to calculate the output using logistic uh, activation function. But uh, to calculate the output at the output layer neuron, uh, first we need to propagate the input from the input layer neuron uh, to the hidden layer and then from hidden layer to the output layer here. So first we will calculate the output at the hidden layer neurons and then we will propagate it to the output layer. To calculate the output at the hidden layer neurons, first we need to calculate the uh, summation term here or you can say that the weighted sum in this case. So weighted sum at uh, neuron 3, weighted sum at neuron 4 here. Now, how to calculate the weighted sum? Weighted sum is nothing but a summation of uh, multiplication between weight and input in this case. That is nothing but Z3 is equal to, uh, if you go with the bias, uh, the weight is equal to 0.6 and input is equal to 1 here. That is nothing but 0.6 multiplied by 1. If you go with this one, that is the input 1, the weight is 0.1 and the input over here is 0 0.7. So, 0 0.1 into 0 0.7 and from uh, a neuron 2 here, uh, the weight is 0 0.5 and the input is equal to 0 0.3 here. And once you solve it, you will be getting 0 0.82 as the weighted sum at neuron 3. Similarly, we will calculate the weighted sum at neuron 4 here and which is equal to 1.06 in this case. So, once you calculate the weighted sum at neuron 3 and 4, we need to apply the logistic uh, activation function and calculate the output at 3 and 4 here. The logistic activation function is given by uh, 1 divided by 1 plus e raised to z here. In the first case, that is z3 is equal to uh, 0 0.82. Uh, uh, that is nothing but uh, 1 divided by 1 plus e raised to minus 0 0.82, which is equal to 0 0.6942 here. Similarly, for the second uh, neuron, that is uh, neuron 4, 1 divided by 1 plus e raised to minus z4, that is nothing but 1.06, which is equal to 0 0.7426 and so on. Now, uh, we have calculated the output at uh, neuron 3 and neuron 4. We will use these outputs and then we will calculate the output at the neuron 5 here. To calculate the output at neuron 5, first we need to calculate the weighted sum. The weighted sum at output neuron 5, that is nothing but Z5 is equal to the bias weight is uh, 0.9 and input is equal to 1 here. That is what I have written here. And for this particular neuron 3, the weight is equal to 0.3. And uh, the output at this neuron, we have already calculated in the previous slide. We will put it here. And uh, the weight for neuron 4 is equal to 0.7. And the output is already calculated. We will put it here. And once you solve it, Z5 will become 1.62 in this case. Now, we have calculated the weighted sum at neuron 5 here. Now, once you calculate the weighted sum, that is 1.62, we need to apply again the logistic activation function that is nothing but 1 divided by 1 plus e raised to minus z here. z is uh, 1.62 in this case. Once I put that particular value, a5 will become 0 0.8359 in this case. So we were able to calculate the output at the neuron 5, which is equal to 0 0.8359 using logistic activation function here. Now the next activation function is a ReLU activation function. Once you use the ReLU activation function, uh, uh, again, the same thing we need to do. You need to calculate the weighted sum at this 3 and 4, calculate the output, and then propagate it to the output layer neuron in this case. We have already calculated the weighted sum at uh, 3 and 4. They are nothing but 0 0.82 and uh, 1.06 here. And uh, once you calculate the weighted sum, uh, uh, what we need to do? We need to apply the activation function. What is the activation function given to us? ReLU in this case, which is defined by this function that is max of 0, z here. Uh, Z3 in this case is 0 0.82. So, max of 0, 0.82 is uh, 0 0.82 here. Second one is uh, Z4 that is 1.06. 0, 1.06, 1.06 is the maximum here. So, the output at the 
neuron uh, 3 is equal to 0 0.82 output at neuron 4 is equal to 1.06 in this case now we have calculated the output at 3 and 4 now we need to calculate the weighted sum at the neuron uh, 5 in this case now how to calculate the weighted sum again the same fun function z5 is equal to weight multiplied by input uh, the bias weight is 0 0.9 input is equal to 1 here uh, for neuron 3 the weight is equal to 0 0.3 and the output of neuron 3 is equal to 0 0.82 and then coming back to the last one the weight is 0.7 and the output at neuron 4 is equal to 1.06 once you solve it you will get 1.888 in this case again uh, we will apply uh, we have calculated the weighted sum at neuron 5 now we need to apply the relu equation function again the same function we will use max of uh, 0 comma z z in this case is 1.888 0 comma 1.888 uh, the maximum between them is 1.888 here so the output at the neuron 5 is equal to 1.888 in this case so in this case we have calculated the output at the output layer neuron using relu activation function coming back to the next one that is a relu function with the matrix operation we have been given a template in this case we need to put the values in this template and then we need to calculate the output over here so the hidden layer weight matrix is nothing but the weights uh, for this particular neuron 3 weights for this particular neuron 4 here so what is the first weight 0. 0.6 so we will put that particular 0. 0.6 here and then the second weight for this particular neuron 3 is 0. 0.1 and the third one is 0.5 here so we will put them into the first row here coming back to the second neuron that is 4 for this one the weight is equal to 0.8 this weight is equal to 0.2 and the third one is 0.4 we will put all those things here we will be getting the hidden layer weight matrix in this case so that is what i have written in this particular uh, template here now once you write this particular template the next part is to write the activations at input layer that is nothing but uh, uh, the inputs over here so for this uh, uh, neuron 3 the input is equal to 1 because as i said earlier bias input is always equal to 1 for this also the bias input is equal to 1 here uh, then input at neuron 1 is equal to 0.7 so that is what we have added here the input at neuron 2 is equal to 0.3 that is what i have added here now once you multiply these two things you will be getting 0.82 and 1.06 that is what we have already calculated in the previous uh, example also now once you calculate these things what is the next thing we need to do we need to apply the relu activation function how relu activation function works max of 0 comma z here both of these values are greater than 0 or they are maximum so they are the final values in this case now once you calculate uh, these things the next part is to calculate the uh, weighted sum and the output at 5 here for that reason uh, first we need to write the output layer weight matrix output layer weight matrix contains 0 0.9 0 0.3 0 0.7 here these are the weights in this case and what are the inputs to this particular neuron the input is the first input is 1 here the second input is the output of 3 that is nothing but 0 0.82 the third input is the output of uh, neuron 4 here that is nothing but 1.06 that is what i have written in this uh, column matrix here again once you multiply these two things we will be getting 1.888 in this case now once you calculate 1.888 that is nothing but the weighted sum the next part is to apply the activation function here again the activation function is uh, relu here the relu takes the maximum of 0 comma z here in this case uh, z value is 1.888 which is greater than 0 the meaning of this one is the output is nothing but 1.888 in this case the same value we got in the previous case also there we haven't used the matrix form we have used the normal technique to come up with the output in that case i hope the concept is clear if you like the video do like and share with your friends press the subscribe button for more videos press the bell icon for regular updates thank you for watching